In this week's news, we see two new products from Mixars, Pioneer updates the firmware on the CDJ2000 Nexus 2, and Bitwig gets a new version. Find out more, coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So after the announcement of their brand new Uno mixer, Mixars is back with two new products. They just announced a brand new 4-channel Serato DJ enabled mixer that they're calling the Quattro and a brand new 2-channel Serato DJ enabled controller that they're calling the Primo. The Quattro follows the same usual club standard Pioneer style layout for a 4-channel mixer, but it also adds the Rain 68-64 MIDI controls on the side of the mixer. I'm curious to see the performance of this mixer because this is the first Serato enabled DJ mixer that Mixars has put out with onboard effects. As you can see in the photo that each channel has uh, color effects much like the Pioneer mixers, uh, the 800, 900, etc. And it also has the effects on the right hand side much like the Pioneer DJM series as well. Very curious to see how this mixer feels, how it performs. For me, scratch performance as a club standard mixer because that's something that is lacking in a lot of club standard mixers is their scratch capability and the ability to use them, uh, you know, using turntables, tricks, and stuff like that. It's doable on a Pioneer, but Rain mixers and like Pioneer mixers like the S9 always feel better. Mixars is always DJ focused first, so I'm curious to see um, how this performs in those standards, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Also, they announced the brand new Primo two-channel controller that also doubles as a two-channel mixer with color effects as well. So this is great for DJs just starting out that just want a controller. I mean, a lot of DJs that are doing mobiles and stuff like that, four channels is kind of overkill, and a lot of the two-channel uh, controllers just aren't up to par as far as like performance is concerned, as, par, as far as um, quality is concerned. So with the Primo, you're getting a brand new mixer, I'm sorry, a brand new controller that has good size jog wheels and one thing that's missing on a lot of controllers as great size pitch faders. So if you're not using sync and you're a DJ that likes to you know manually beat match, this might be the controller for you. And on top of that, it's a full mixer as well. So you can plug turntables into it or you can plug CDJs into it. And since it's Serato DJ enabled, all you need is a DVS upgrade and you get full Serato DJ capability. Pioneer DJ has just announced that they upgraded the firmware of the CDJ2000 Nexus 2 to version 1.6. Now this version comes with a bunch of cool bug fixes and some cool new features as well. My personal favorite is that you can plug in the SP1 and get access to new beat divisions for looping. And my personal favorite, you get new beat jump features. Previously on the CDJ, you could only beat jump one beat forward or backward. Now you get access to more usable divisions such as four beats and 16 beats, etc. As a DJ that uses CDJs all the time, this is big for me. I love using Beat Jump in Serato DJ and having that access while using Record Box is going to be great. Beat Jump has become a staple of how I DJ and I'm sure a lot of other DJs out there will be very happy to see this brand new feature. And finally, with the big announcement right before NAM 2017, Bitwig has reached version 2.0. Now this version is going to be the next big step for Bitwig, which is a great DAW already. And if you're using the, if you're used to the Ableton style of working as in a, in a DAW, Bitwig is a nice alternative. It has a lot of the same features and a lot of features that you can't get in Ableton as well. With this new version two, you get brand new modulators and you get a ton of brand new devices. Bitwig has posted a video teasing all these new features that you can find in the link below in the description, or you can go ahead and click on the card above my head to get access to that video. Alright guys, that's it for the news this week, so question of the day, what piece of gear or news are you excited for for NAM in this coming week? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.